Come over here, Brian. Oh my gosh, that one has its head in the other one's mouth. Rat snakes. Rat snakes, rat snakes. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they eat all the rats so you don't have a rat problem? Haley here. I'm taking over the channel this episode to tell you five really cool things about rat snakes. This video is brought to you by Emerald Code, which is a super sweet, family friendly STEM TV show on Sorta TV. I'll give you all the details for that at the end of the video, but let's get to it. So, I wanted to do this video because both Rob and I are trained as biologists and we've been uploading content to Untamed Science for 10 years now trying to put different species up there and we've come across this species so very many times but we've yet to do a video about its coolness and amazingness and now's the time why is now the time well i have a little backstory for you so doing a little spring cleaning with my brother brian we're out in the shed go to move the bag and then the entire thing moves the whole bag what we've got is a big bag of writhing snakes. How many? We don't know. We have no clue. So we decide what we're going to do is we're going to take it out to the edge of the property. We're going to transport our new little friends and, and see what we've got here. I think we, yeah, rip the bag. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Holy wow. mother of snakes. Out emerges this unbelievably beautiful six foot long rat snake. Oh, wow. Beautiful. You are oh, just a snake small. in a bag. The second beauty emerges. There's another one in there? Yeah, it's in the potty. Okay, cool. Go First one orange. goes right up a tree. The second one there, we're watching for a while. I'm getting the camera really close and then Gosh, you are beautiful. Off it goes up a tree. Climbers. And so we're thinking like, how amazing was it? How lucky are we that we got to see these amazing creatures? And then we realized the party had just started. That's right, snake love people. Now here are a few facts I wanna point out to you about rat snakes and sex. First, both male and female snakes have a cloaca and the cloaca is just where they keep their reproductive organs. So you get your lady parts and your dude parts and, and they, they, you know, they either come out or they're tucked inside there. Second, males have a hemipenis. That means they have two penises, each one making its own sperm kind of snake 101, but it still is one of those things where it's like, huh. So if they have two penises and they each have a testicle, they could go and mate with one snake and then be ready to roll for the next lady snake. Next, they wrap up and they mate for hours. <gasps> Do you see him move? He's moving, I know it's weird. It's like he's pulsating. And this is due in part because the hemipenis has these protrusions and hooks so they can sort of literally stay hooked up for hours. Four, females have a lot of power in the snake world as far as their own reproduction. Females can discard sperm if they find it undesirable or they can fertilize right away or they can delay getting pregnant by months or even years. They've taken snakes in from the wild that haven't mated for five years and spontaneously, they'll have little snakes that are genetically different from them. Next, it's five weeks until the snake lays a clutch of eggs, puts it in a secluded spot, like a hollowed out log, so that they're semi-safe. They don't stay with the eggs, they get out of there. Three months later, there are hatchlings that will probably never meet their parents. It's what they do, they're loners. They only come together when they mate. So that's a few things that you might not have known about rat snakes. I learned a lot from this experience, getting to see it so close up, and I had never seen footage like this on the internet. So now I thought, hey, now we've got some rat snakes doing their thing on the interwebs. There you go. Oh, wow, look how vertical. Whoa, buddies. Yeah, also, side note, Thank you, rat snakes. We live in the country. We need rat snakes because they take care of a otherwise mouse problem that we would have. <sighs> Get big, eat lots of mice. We love you. Please come live under our house. <sighs> Peace out, rat snakes. And don't forget to subscribe for more content and hit the little bell so you can know when we release a new video. And also, I wanted to say a big thank you to Emerald Code. 
and we'd love it if you'd go over there and check out their new cool STEM show. It's another fun, family-friendly science show.